Hi friends, I'm going to make a chana vada. Uh, it's a chana there dal. I soaked it in the night. You can soak it for a couple of hours too. And the split one. And in the morning, I grind it. Not too fine and not too coarse. You can see here. You can see some of the dal there still uh, up here. So, yeah. And these are the chana dal, which you can get it from the shops. You can get grocery shops. You can get any of the shops where you can find them. These yellow split dal, the chana dal. And soak them for four to five hours. I soaked it in, in the night. And now in the morning I have just grind it. It's got nothing in it at present. Before that, I'm going to mix, uh, before mixing other things, I'm going to make a one chutney to go with it. So which is, I have put here a wok with the one teaspoon of oil and one teaspoon of cumin seed. started splattering so let that happen and on the side i have got here two garlic cloves if you don't eat garlic you can skip it some of the ginger and if you like lots of onion you can put two onion here but i am going to put only one onion so together we are going to do all the roasting here in this oil. So this one onion, you don't have to chop it finely because I'm going to grind this chutney. And as soon as our onion is a little bit tender, not so much but a little bit tender. They are now looking all right. The onions, they're tender. You can see when you turn it, the colors have changed. Now turn it. And now I have got one carrot here, which I have chopped it a little bit in three, four pieces. So do this, that. I'll just add one red chili dry. And let this cool down. And then I'm going to grind it with the spices. So I'll show you that time. Five, seven minutes, let this cool down before grinding. So by the time, I'm going to add here other spices. The, all the other spices, whatever, will go in the chana vada. Chana vada is very, very popular in South India and in uh, Mumbai, Maharashtra and all. But I think uh, many other places also they make it. Um, they call it masala vada or they just the plain vada, the chana vada. So here I have got onion, ginger and chili. Other than that, lots of coriander leaves. So all that goes in this. 
when you are grinding the chana please don't add water so you can if your mixer jar doesn't take all just put little bit and little bit by the by the um, every time and then grind it don't put too much so you can't grind them or you have to add the water very little bit sprinkling water is all right but not too much one teaspoon of cumin seed salt to taste so i'm adding a pink salt so don't feel that it is too much because the pink salt is not that salty salty but you can add according to your taste and here i'm adding now the black pepper powder a little bit if you don't like you can skip that but i'm adding a black pepper powder one teaspoon here and mix them added a one teaspoon of cumin powder to here and the last thing i'm adding here a garam masala a quarter teaspoon not too much but if you don't want a spicy one or uh, masala vada you can just uh, skip these masalas just a tiny bit of chili powder say one teaspoon and now we have to mix all these things mix thoroughly nicely the all the spices in it and onion ginger paste chili paste oh one thing i forgot which is curry leaves so let me go and get the curry leaves unfortunately i didn't have a fresh curry leaves but i always keep uh, packed curry leaves dry which you can get in the shops so i've added that I'll mix it again the curry leaves are must in this it enhances the taste and the chana vada has got a curry leaves in it always when you will eat in the market you will find it in the restaurants or wherever the curry leaves is a must so oil is on and let's check a tiny bit first that if the oil is enough hot yeah that is hot so whatever the size you want if you want you can flatten it and make it or you can make a round but mostly the chana vada in the shops you will find that they are flat whatever the size you like it you can make it so let's make it then them now you can make them in the plate together and drop them in the oil when the oil is ready you can air fry them you can put, put it in the oven and fry as you like it one more and we are going to turn them Some people don't like the uh, onion in the chana vada so you can skip that and try to make it really nicely golden brown because then the outer layer is crispy and inside is soft and the taste nice so I'll try them a few more minutes both the sides and then we will take them off and I'm going to fry all of them what I have our chutney all this things what we fried it it is cooled down now so let me go and let it dry other than that it's got everything but salt according to your taste little bit of sugar If you don't like sugar you can skip this is a brown sugar and i will go and get this grind i've grind the chutney 
so now we'll do the tempering i've got here the tempering pot with the half a teaspoon of oil say one teaspoon not a half a teaspoon half a teaspoon of oil and i'm going to put a esophotida um some of the mustard seeds curry leaves and one red dry chili and as soon as this is ready we're going to put it on the top of chutney you don't want too much of oil on the top so that's why just as little as you can put so this is ready and i'm going to put it on the top of the chutney i will put some of the coriander leaves in here normally we don't put but the for the color for the taste you can put it so here the tempering is ready and some of the coriander leaves i'll put it in a minute and our vadas are ready here all the vadas are fried so i'll put the coriander leaves in the chutney and then we are going to plate it so here guys our vadas are in the serving plate let's some serve some chutney with that and here you go this is ready now with the chutney and the masala vada or you can call it chana vada and please like my page share with your friends press the bell icon so you get the notification when i post the new videos thank you